नूर नहीं आएगा तो उसका कोई असर यूनिवर्स टेक्निकली स्पीसिंग एज फार एज दर्टिफिस कॉल इज कंसर्न मेनी ऑफ यू वुड हैव ऑलरेडी बीन एबल टू लर्न दैट इट वॉज देयर इट वॉज इन प्लेस फॉर क्वेट सम टाइम इंडिया हैड नॉट बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ इट वेर इज ऑलरेडी जब ट्वेंटी फाइव कंट्रीज सिग्नेटरी स्टेट इट्स नॉट अ लीगल डॉक्यूमेंट एज सच वट इज सर्ट ऑफ कमिंग टूगेदर इन अ फ्लेम वर्क और इन अ कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म टू शेयर प्राइमरिली three aspects the best practices the guidelines and the principles related to space and the principles related to space activities space projects primarily indicate uh, use of space missions for peaceful purposes also sharing each other's concerns and practices as far as debris management is concerned because there's a new emerging area of space debris also taking care of the astronauts in distress and uh, sharing each other's inputs so that paves a way for a more institutionalized and a deeper collaboration between india and us i think the other uh, remarkable feature of it i was thinking when i was uh, when this news was happening this as i said this is a celebration of india us relationship with this is is that we started off our space journey much much later compared to us in fact when we started the us was already on the verge of landing a human being on the surface of moon and indeed in 1969 they did land the first human being called the called neil armstrong where we were still in a very primitive stage and uh, that was one of the infant years infancy years of india space journey even young scientists like vikram sarabhai were so de deficient or so were suffering for such a shortcoming of uh, resources that they were carrying launchers on the carriers of bicycles the famous photograph is sometimes you see in the archive so from there has been a quantum jump and the quantum jump is evident i think most remarkably for the fact that today india is an equal partner in our space activities at a time when usa was looked up as one of the pioneers in space and nasa the most premier agency in space across the world it was anybody's dream to either be a part of nasa activity or at least have a visit there and learn what is happening today we are in a position to provide our inputs to nasa our pictures from chandrayaan for further follow up by nasa and america also realizes the utility of we partnering them in the joint space missions so that's i think a huge huge uh, not only a um, not only a reflection of india's uh, space journey having taken off in a big way in the last 9 years under prime minister modi but also is given a tremendous amount of esteem and self esteem to every indian to be in a position where we can actually provide some cues for the us and as i said the first human being to land on the surface of moon was neil armstrong an american where we were still you know catching up it's also quite possible that the first mission or the next mission to the space station could have an indian along with an american this is not yet finalized but now the decks are cleared for those kind of ventures as well and the international space station is the other aspect of it one is the call of course the two plat two two supplement each other the international space station is about i believe about 300 km or so from earth a little slightly more in the terms of miles it's about 250 miles because usually americans measure in the time of terms of miles so <coughs> from there they hope to you know further explore moon and the closer to their exploration of moon activities and there india and america could be jointly carrying forward the next missions and and at the end of the day what has been envisaged by the american space explorers space scientists is returning to the moon or landing humans on the moon 
and they have also <coughs> laid down a target themselves of the year 2025, which of course we will have to watch and see. But they have a very, what I am trying to say is a very ambitious program they have about carrying humans to the moon and also carrying the next mission with a, with a non-white uh, traveler. So, <coughs> no longer is India now operating from a position of weakness or a position of uh, being lesser equipped. We are now collaborating as equal partners. We are offering them as much as they have to offer us. So, I think that's a big... Other related features also, I'm sure you must have been uh, uh, briefed about it, the the defense part and other people, right. but if you just want me to sum up, of course, that's again uh, a very delightful means that we have, we will now have American ships getting service repairs and repair works done in the Indian shipyards. So, we learned shipping from them. Uh, when in the earlier times and even the British Empire. Then we will uh, also have the predated drones is another big breakthrough because they are useful particularly for surveillance purposes, for intelligence purposes and for a territory, for a region afflicted by foreign Spencer terrorism. There is a particular value of that. We will, of course, you must have read that has been, I mean, quite uh, frequently reported since morning. The the fighter jets GE collaborating with HAL of India, and uh, in the Department of Science and Technology, we have recently now the quantum technology. Uh, you must be recalling just about two months back, which placed India into an elite club of about just five six countries, and there also the agreements being signed today partly today and partly yesterday because the day is yet to take off there in US include collaboration in advanced computing including the US quantum development consortium getting involved with Indian counterparts in the Indian quantum mission and just as I was mentioning about India having taken off later and then being equal today in space, the the underlying, you know, the, the, the fact here is that quantum technology to my mind signifies India's pace at an equivalent level to any other country of the world because till a decade or so back, we would adopt a technology after it was already applied outside. I mean, in, a dip, in other countries, and some of the Western countries, it was adopted, applied, tried, became popular, and then we thought of adopting it. At, at the time when Honorable Prime Minister is on a successful uh, visit to US, I think the best example is that of uh, the television. In, in, in the US had television in 1950s. And the famous 1960 election was determined by a television debate between Edward Ken between uh, John Kennedy and Richard Nixon. The television debate tilted the tables. So, so much, so powerful was the influence of television in USA in 1950s. But we could adopt it only by 1970. That too in pieces and bits, half an hour, chitra hour, movie, a week like that. But today, with quantum technology, we are at the same level as the other six, seven countries. They are also, by and large, at the R&D stage, so are we. They are yet to go into full-fledged application. So, by that time, they go, we also go. So, that is also, I think, the another healthy feature now, uh, which has been signified very abundantly from this visit. With technologically, we were never keeping equal pace. Uh, the Of course, the semiconductors has already been reported in Micron, investing 800 billion and uh, critical health by the U.S. National Cancer Institute collaborating with India because our health care capacities now are now being recognized as equal to 
the best anywhere and and with the advantage of being cost effective so we are in fact attracting many of the patients from southeast asia now so we have now become a country which has uh, discovered the virtues of health economy and also space economy and as i was saying we are picking up cues from us today we have earned as much as about 174 million dollars from the launching of american satellites as was the calculation i think till about march 2020 and even though this launching was happening uh, in in the early years also but almost 90% of this earning has happened in the 90 in the last 9 years almost more than 150 million, uh, million dollars so i think it's a, a huge we live in uh, and the measure of friendship e- equal relationship between the countries also has to follow certain parameters and in an age of tech, the best parameters which indicate that we have actually and i and interestingly just day before yesterday my uh, space uh, experts and commentators like here made a very beautiful comment he said india is a sleeping giant which is a huge compliment <laughs> so you talk about it and in fact i think the sleeping giant has woken up the moment prime minister modi landed on the american soil Do we have any timelines for the uh, uh, putting Indian astronaut on the International Space Station, uh, and will it happen before our own Gaganyaan takes off? They have a mission in plan in 2024. Now, whether that would also carry an Indian is still being worked out. This is Artemis II. Yes, that one, right? That will be worked out because now we are. equal partners now they'll work out uh, the nitty gritty of it no 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 this is not the uh, international is called uh, that rocket is called space launching system sls sls विज्ञान और प्रौद्योगिकी मंत्री डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह जो प्रधानमंत्री के अमेरिकी दौरे के दौरान भारत और अमेरिका के बीच विज्ञान के क्षेत्र में कई महत्वपूर्ण समझौते हुए हैं जिनमें से सबसे महत्वपूर्ण बिंदुओं को रेखांकित कर रहे हैं डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह इस प्रेस वार्ता में जिसमें उन्होंने आर्टमिस अकॉर्ड का जिक्र किया और तमाम करार जो हुए हैं उनमें आर्टमिस अकॉर्ड अपनी एक बेहद महत्वपूर्ण महत्ता रखती है जब हम अंतरिक्ष क्षेत्र में दोनों देशों के बीच सहयोग की बात करते हैं क्योंकि आर्टमिस अकॉर्ड के तहत ही नासा और इसरो मिलकर काम करेंगे जहां एक और लक्ष्य है कि अगले साल 2024 तक इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन में दोनों देश मिलकर इस दिशा में काम करें तो वहीं अन्य बिंदुओं को भी डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह सामने रख रहे हैं आइए रुख करते हैं उनकी पीसी का I'm not sure that because that is being worked out. Then here, of course, we'll have now the first uh, non-human soon. The followed with the next one, and by 24, maybe the actual one. So the timelines are by and large laid down. Mm-hmm. And similarly, Chandrayaan. Now, Chandrayaan also is 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 an indication has has to an extent the American collaboration in it. And the Chandrayaan, uh, the next Chandrayaan is expected scheduled to be in July. Mm-hmm. That is next month. Oh, no, the taking the second part first, the the the, the contribution respectively of from the two sides. To what extent technical, to what extent in terms of the human resources, and to what extent to the terms of, I think that will be worked out because depending on the mission. Financially, there is not much of an implication as far as Artemis is concerned. And uh, what was the first part you said? Uh, what was the potential? Ah, potential. 
gain. Yeah, that's that's something which has been debated for many years. Some say there is no gain at all looking into this space. But now that as Prime Minister keeps reiterating about Amrit Kaal and next 20 years, 25 years being very crucial when India would be a frontline nation. So I think if you have to play a global role and you have to be a global player or a global leader, we will have to prepare ourselves to live up to the global parameters, the global concerns, the global challenges, the global benchmarks. And that's why ever since Prime Minister Modi took over, he's never shied away from talking about concerns like climate, etc. Earlier on, India hardly ever, you know, Indian leadership dwelt into this and we were also not expected. So we have now plunged ourselves into the uh, global circles. So I think being there, it is a part of our... So, but Mr. Singh, would you say that now we are equal partners sitting on the table and the era of technology denial and sanctions is rightfully and fully over? Yeah, uh, would you agree no, I, I, I'm not sure fully over, but yes, there is no technology denial as far as... Uh, and uh, I think the heartening feature is that in addition, at the same time, we are also now technologically capable. So we are not lacking behind. On the one hand, we are almost at the equal level. On the other hand, we do not wait for technology to happen and then adopt it. We saw this happening even in the uh, even in uh, case of computers and of course uh, television, as I said. I mean, many Indians would rather wonder how a presidential debate would be affected or a presidential election would be affected by a debate which happened on television because nobody knew what was television, what was debate and what was all about. So we have seen those times happening. Are you suggesting that India should have a television? No, 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 no political talk about it twice. I'm talking only about television, I'm not talking about election. <laughs> sir, sir, I wanted to understand. What I'm trying to say is that, you know, the newspaper across the world were galore because Kennedy was a phenomenon at that time. So they said that, that, that a TV debate has treated the entire thing because Nixon was a veteran. So, but we didn't have a concept of it because we were not introduced into that world. We came in about more than a decade later. Now it's no longer so. So we've had a long time that, you know, ISRO and the fact that, you know, there should be an Indian astronaut aboard ISIS has been a subject of debate for many, many years before. And that time our general calculation has been that it is too expensive for too little game. What has changed now? No, I think that they'll work out. I, I understand the, the cost effectiveness of it or the, or the, the, the outcomes. But uh, that I think is too early to talk now because we just engaged, got engaged, entered into a lock. So let's see. and NASA have they had any discussion on this? Yes, yes. In fact, uh, to collaborate to what you are saying, though the God is happening now, but the collaboration to a lesser or greater extent was happening from time to time. Even Chandrayaan had to an extent sure. the, uh, the, 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 the the American. Uh, inputs in American collaboration and in return India got the pictures of the water being present on the surface of moon. So both of us were supplementing each other, NASA and uh, and even in terms of human resource, most of the NASA is now being run by the Indian boys and girls. And our Trivandrum Institute, Space Institute, uh, is uh, we have a batch of about 150 sections through this IITJ, which is also something lesser known. I would I wish that. It's widely publicized or widely made aware of. And the placement is 100%, about 50-60% of them go to NASA. The the application form is the same as IIT JE. So I, wherever I go, I keep telling them because many people are not aware of it. So they don't know how to gain entry, gain admission into that. No, I don't think that's it. So, with the next batch of astronauts trained for the Gagarin mission, will we be partnering with the uh, US rather than Russia? Hmm. Interesting. Obviously. Like Pallav asking about election. No, obviously. It's not that. We, we have a relationship in place with Russia and also in place with US. So, But this, has, uh, the astronaut is going to be Indian. Gaganian astronaut is going to be Indian. No, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, will the Gaganyan astronauts uh, who are trained for Gaganyan, will they fly over uh, ISS or... Uh, no, no, that, separate, uh, no, no, it's not being given a thought because that will depend on the suitability of the individuals. So that I think all these, when, when the mission is uh, actually being planned, all these things will be thought about and worked out because it's just that on, in principle we decided because for a long while as the observers of the India space program would bear out, this has been under consideration whether they go ahead or not. Ultimately, it has happened. So they have been wanting it for a long time. Yes. They have been doing that for a long time. Absolutely. So, we in certain quarters had certain resolutions which are not to be, so of course, you are aware of it, the diplomatic level, but now there is unanimity about it. So the joint statement also mentions about uh, the nuclear cooperation and the uh, site offered to Westinghouse at Kovada in Andhra Pradesh. So do we see that going forward because the nuclear foreign collaborations have been on the back burner? No, not really. Many of our uh, atomic plants are the, foreign, the first one including. Uh, the, 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 uh, Jaitapur and uh, no, they have been there for other reasons. Not that we were averse to collaboration. In the, the earliest plant, Tarapur came out with the collaboration only. The joint. There, there have been issues uh, of a different nature. Of course, somewhere of course there were local issues, the people not uh, being uh, cooperative. Sometimes they were under, uh, of course, the, among the two collaborators, Sometimes these are legacy issues, like for example, Soviet Union turned into Russia. So all those agreements that have been signed together, you know, had to be redone. And the terms and conditions again to be, of course, we being India, being India as it is, we would have liked them to be in the same moment, but on the other side, the, the entire mechanism had changed. So these are happened for circumstantial reasons, not that uh, we are averse to this. It's never been like that. Sir, so can you? Tell us in explicit terms that Gaganyan will continue as it is even if we have one astronaut going on an American rocket to the International Space Station as an American uh, co-passenger or passenger. Gaganyan will get no, see, the full support. The, the, first, the first point is that Gaganyan is a separate mission altogether. So we don't have to mix the two. Second is that your question is based on the assumption that the the astronaut who is to go to space has to be essentially from those who have been trained for no, no, that. So that may not be so. It may or may not be so. So the choice is wide open. It will depend more on the suitability. So and this accord and I mean one of aspect of these accords was private companies exploiting the you know the natural resources on the moon. I mean that I understand was again one of the issues as to why ISRO was, uh, you know, I mean has been debating this of whether should we sign up for this or not. So now does this mean that whenever, whenever any natural expo exploitation of the moon's natural resources is done, India and the US will be kind of partners? On yeah, absolutely. Actually, the understanding is uh, on the same lines among all these countries that we would avoid uh, the harmful interference from any side. Mm -hmm. So that's an understanding. If you are not part of the court, then you know it may be difficult to check each other. But those who are party to it, we are establishing a common vision rather. Common vision based on common principles, common guidelines and common practices which you can learn from each other. So probably it's guidelines, principles and practices. So what you are referring to is essentially related to the guidelines. So these guidelines will be followed. If there is an interference even from the private uh, sector in one of the countries, it will be expected that they are, they take a due cognizance of it. Sir, we have some electronic ones to have some points. Okay, 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 okay. for the refreshment. So, Pallav can also. Ah, Pallav sir can also. One more question. China and Russia, they have their own grouping towards, and they are not really part of the accord. Given our long relationship with Russia, 
do you see this as having geopolitical No, I, I will not get into that because I, I am not in the habit of talking out of turn, as the MEA is concerned. But all this uh, decision, this decision has been taken with the due considerations from the MEA as well. So, all those aspects which you are hinting at have been done away with those who are concerned with it, which of course is not strictly my domain, but that's been. And so, it's rather a whole of government decision now. Are we not a sovereign country? We can deal with both in a way. You are a sovereign individual, so you can say anything. <laughs> Sir, I will, if I have the permission, sir. No, I will. No, sir. I just wanted to inform you, actually, uh, tomorrow also the ministry is having a function. So तो आप ये सीधे प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस देख रहे थे जिसमें डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह जो विज्ञान और प्रौद्योगिकी मंत्री हैं वो अमेरिका और भारत के बीच में विज्ञान के क्षेत्र में जो महत्वपूर्ण करार हुए हैं उनको लेकर प्रेस वार्ता को संबोधित कर रहे थे जिसमें उन्होंने महत्वपूर्ण बिंदुओं